Good morning, everyone. It's Tess, and I just thought I would drop in for a couple minutes. I'm actually headed out the door in a few short moments, going to rejoin the world. Um, just briefly, I've got to get some stuff done for your end. But I thought today, uh, there's been a lot of talk about like Doc V's challenges going live and how are we going to create our best possible lives and um, how do we make our future, our destiny, something we can be proud of? How can we take steps to make this life the best life ever. And um, I saw a quote, and the quote is from Benjamin Carson, and it says, we create our own destiny by the way we do things. We have to take advantage of opportunities and be responsible for our own choices. And I think that is so true in that for too long, um, I lived waiting for life to happen instead of realizing it was happening at that very moment. Um, I've joined a lot of groups and I've joined a lot of challenges and I've done a lot of studying. And as I take responsibility and learn and grow, life gets better. Um, taking control of health, it, has it always been easy? No, it's not always been easy. But making the changes to improve my life and to put me into a healthier environment has been... Uh, it is life changing. You know, we know that health is a state where all of our body systems, the nervous system, the muscular system, the skeletal system, the circulatory system, digestive, hormonal, everything is working together. And a lot of that stems from our mind and our thoughts and the way we believe. And through this challenge with Doc V, which is opening. Uh, if you are interested in trying to learn more about Doc V and his challenge, the Transforming Your Life Challenge, he is going to go live in it for the, from now until March 31st. Um, that will give people an idea of um, what he's teaching us. And for me, it's been life-changing. But he stresses the importance that every part of our life comes together in, and is actually reflected in our health. And I know for myself, I never realized the blocks that I had created for myself. I had, I had, good morning, Amy. I had created blocks where um, I wasn't providing myself an opportunity to live my best possible life. And through Doc V's challenge and through the education that I've been working on this past year, I have found ways to improve and to make my life better. And that's what I'm hoping for for you guys. So like I said, I'm not gonna be on real long today because I'm into the office and into the real world today. Um, but if you would take a moment and look at your life and try to find something to change today, um, everything comes together. For me, I start every day with meditation. I start every day with um, I, I have positive thoughts, whether you want to call them positive affirmations, prayers, reaching out to people with like minds, learning, educating. Um, I know for most that know me, learning and educating is something I absolutely love. But what I've learned in the past year is that I can grow faster when I connect myself with people that have already learned something that I don't know and can help jump me up a little bit faster. Um, I know that prior to surgery, I was losing ground on what I could accomplish in this life. And through these challenges, I've been able to push myself forward and almost become a stronger person than I was. I, I, I am. I am a stronger person than I was 15 or 20 years ago. To lose our health, it, it renders all parts of us null and we end up feeling useless, we end up falling into despair. And if you will just take control a little bit today in how you think, being more positive, being more excited, I think the first thing that you can do to improve your life and improve the direction you're going in is to get excited. Get excited for opportunities. Stop living in a place where you're looking at the negative and thinking that things can't happen for you and start to get excited about the opportunities for the potential. My life changed when I got involved in this challenge and it also changed when I stopped allowing my mind, my brain, 
to start thinking in a negative direction, to start thinking, when I started to get excited about the possibilities, when I started to get excited about the opportunity to learn, when I started to get excited about how good my body felt when I left behind the foods that were not transforming and helping me to move forward. When I started to get excited, life started to change. And isn't living a life in excitement so much more beneficial and so much more worth living? I mean, we, I think for too long, and I've, I've said this before, I lived as a victim and I looked at the negative. I, I don't want to be there anymore. I want to keep pushing myself forward, keep excited, keep energetic, keep pushing forward. When you when you look at it with energy, when you look at it with excitement, when you look at it with it, yeah, Amy, you're right. Desire that when you get that, when you get excited, when you really get excited, there's nothing that's going to stop you from getting what you want. I think what has stopped so many of us, even in this past year with COVID, is that we allowed all the negative energy and all the political and all the um, election and all the news, we allowed them to draw us into a place that hurts. And if we can stand up right now and say, no more, I am going to be excited. I am going to reach for everything that is out there available to me. There is nothing that none of us, there's nothing beyond our reach. And we have to stop letting somebody else tell us that we can't do it. Doc V will push. He will tell us that our mind is the problem. And I agree with that. Everything for me is so much better now that I'm excited about the possibilities. And it's exciting even in knowing that I don't know what all the possibilities are. But you are never too old. You are never too weak. You are, it doesn't matter I knew somebody in my gym, and bless her heart, she's still a friend of mine, but I always think about her. When she started at the gym, she could not walk up the steps. She literally sat her butt down on each step and pushed herself up till she got to the top. By six months or a year, she was walking up and down those steps. It's because she got excited. It's because she decided that she was gonna win. It's because she decided she wasn't gonna be a victim. Make sure that today you leave behind the negative people, leave behind the naysayers, leave behind your own negative thoughts. Every time something negative pops into your head, think of something positive. Every single one of us has achieved things in our lives. Every single one of us can achieve unlimited amounts that we've never seen before. If you don't have a a support network behind you, Doc V's challenge is open, transform your life, he has guided me in this past year to make more changes than I ever thought. There are some people on here right now that are my new friends from, from his challenge. And we all cheer for each other. And I want to cheer for you guys the same as you cheer for me. Don't let somebody steal your thunder. Take it back. Take back the positive thoughts and know that you can achieve anything. Don't allow the negative thoughts in. Good morning, Yang. Don't allow the negative thoughts in. Don't allow somebody else to give you negative thoughts. It's time we dropped them. It's time all this stuff was done. We've had a year of all kinds of negative. I'm tired of it. I'm sure you're tired of it. If that's where they want to live for the rest of their lives, I, I'm sorry for them, but it's not my problem anymore. And it's not yours. Let's be excited. Let's be happy. Let's reach forward. Let's pull ourselves. Let's pull ourselves up. We're all reaching out to help each other. Don't ever give up. Don't ever settle for less. And don't ever let anybody tell you that there's anything you can't do. Everything is possible. All things are possible. Um, I'm just beginning to... I, and I said it in my live on Doc V's Transform Your Life group yesterday. I am in such a different place now a year later than when I joined. And the excitement is that a year from now, I'm not even really sure what's going to be out there, but it's exciting because there are things to try. I live too long afraid, um, fearful, stagnant because I was afraid of making mistakes and mistakes are just an opportunity for, for growth, for learning. Take back control. You deserve 
everything, everything out there you deserve. I don't want to settle for less. I don't want you to settle for less. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how much you weigh. I don't care what anybody has told you in your life. Don't ever give up. Take a hold today. Do something, one small step. My problem historically is I try to take on too much all at once. And I'm probably still kind of doing that. But what I've decided is that even though all these shiny objects appeal to me, I just got to keep mo moving forward in all of them every single day. And then the str strong ones will fall out to be the ones that I, I pursue. But do, do that. Maybe today take a piece of paper and just brainstorm things that have been in your mind that you wanted to do and just do one little step towards them. You know, that's a Tony Robbins thought. That's a Doc V thought. Make momentum. Make make a baby step and push yourself forward. Um, do you want a garden? What do you want to grow? Do you want to create? Um, I've been working on some repairs in the basement. I've created my, yeah, I love my shiny objects. But brainstorm. Just take a sheet of paper and spend 20 minutes today. And this I got from Doc V a week or two ago. Just brainstorm all the things that maybe appeal to you and things that you want to do. Just brainstorm them. And then pick one or two of them today just to do something. Whether it's look up a YouTube video for five minutes on somebody who's doing what you have an interest in. You may not pursue it, but at least you investigated it so one day you won't have regrets. You will know that it wasn't meant for you or that you will know it is meant for you and you'll pursue the second video to go forward. This life is a chance of opportunities and too many of us have spent too much time in front of a Netflix or in front of um, a bag of chips or in front of an ice cream cone. I don't want that for myself and I don't want it for you. Let's take maybe 20 minutes today. Let's brainstorm all kinds of opportunities of, of even little inklings of things that we thought would be exciting to try or do. Just put them down on a piece of paper and look at them and find one or two to just look at a YouTube video today. See if it's something you want to continue to pursue. Um, YouTube is beautiful. I have learned so much. I learned in YouTube how to create YouTube channels um, and then through Doc V, because Doc V is also doing some channels on its rich Asian American channel on your YouTube. But it's funny that YouTube will have videos on how to create YouTubes. And take five, take five minutes today and off that list that you created of things that have appealed to you over all these years, watch one video, watch two videos, five minutes. You've got five minutes. We've all got five minutes. If you take your phone with you and watch a YouTube video while you're making your lunch, you can do that. You're worth that. And it will, oppor it will open up opportunities. I'm doing things I never even thought I was interested in. And I can't wait to see what the next year holds. And I want that for you. Yep, Amy's right. Spend 30 minutes a day working on one goal and you will see it unfold. And it's it's beautiful. And and it, it will grow. And if you're not sure what to do, just brainstorm. Just come up with a list. A list of a lot of things that you saw somebody do or you saw something on TV that intrigued you. And then five minute video, five minute video to just kind of see, to wet your whistle and see if it's something you're interested in. Good morning, Catherine. I know I'm um, not going to be on much longer because the office is calling, but take that time today. Take 20 minutes, take a sheet of paper. Doc V had us do this. Uh, it was either group or it was in the challenge group. Just 20 minutes. What are things you're good at? What are things you're interested in? What are things that just kind of have a little shiny object, a little glitter in your mind. Just brainstorm a bunch of things and then spend five minutes at least once today. And if you can do it two or three times, do a YouTube video on that topic and just see if there's something there for you, something to pursue and to go forward. This life is exciting. And we've got to start to reach back for the excitement because it momentum, it pushes us forward. I like living in a place of excitement. I didn't realize how harmful it was to my health, to my food choices, to my life, when I lived in fear of taking a chance. Put this list together, watch a YouTube video. It will give you momentum to start to move forward and look at life with excitement. Look at life with opportunities. Look at life with the possibilities. You want to be reaching for more. 
Don't settle for less. We're all worth more. We've got to stop living in that place where we're afraid to move forward. Make that list and watch just one YouTube video today. Something to move forward. Um, I better move along because I got to get into the office. But you guys have a beautiful day. Brainstorm and watch something on YouTube that excites you. Make this day Make there be something in this day that's exciting. And I'll see you guys soon. Thank you, everyone. And I hope you have a beautiful day. And I'm sure I'll see you between Doc V's Transform Your Life or his actual challenge group. You guys are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you for always being there for me. And I'm here for you in whatever way I can be. Thank you and have a beautiful day.